What's going on guys? We've got the silver bullet back here. Um, you guys watched the video, I started the tune up on it and then we ran into some clutch issues, so here we go. He uh, put a new clutch in it, went over his setup, and uh, got some heating stuff figured out. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to finish up the tune for you guys today. And we'll kind of go over some things as we go. All right, let's do this. I can already feel that the clutch has got a, a strange noise. Could be an input shaft bearing and the alternator. Holy cow, we are overcharging so bad. guys 18 19 volts that's how you cook a battery when you smell one boil that's what's going on so let's turn on all his electronics and see if we can get this thing to bog down see I'm gonna keep turning electronics on and get the voltage down just one of the things sometimes you gotta do we won't get through this tune if we don't do this thing The thing wonky about high voltages like that is it messes with your injectors. So as you can see, I've got the hazards on. I've got everything running here just to keep the voltage down. But right now we're still putting some coolant temp in it. You can see our voltage is still. We need more load. Turn that on, huh? That'll shut her up. Nope, oh, not enough. May end up coming back and getting a back <laughs> finishing up again. Hey, well, we're trying. He's trying, we're trying. We all love it, so it doesn't matter what you have, it's how you all put it all together. We all got some ghetto stuff, and we've all done some ghetto stuff, so getting it all together is, is really what, we're, what matters. And one pound of boost. It was a little rich in some spots, but I'll go ahead and clean that up. Um, this car does not have a wide band on it either, so I'm using the dyno one. See it out there on the stack. So in here, see where my graph is. You can see where I went. We know from here down, we need to pull some fuel, and then I'm going to give it a and you can see the changes I've made. I got less of a curve here. I'm still pulling fuel away as we go. Um, similar to what the torque curve would do. So that's what it's gonna look like. A little pressure. Yeah. Last night we did it too. So this hose here is super tight. So before we even got going here, we're, we're uh, kicking her off. He's gonna need to do a head gasket on it and come back. For round three so a lot of you guys have asked you know uh, I want to build a race car what what should I do first well the first thing you want to do is figure out what kind of race car you want to build but or what you want to do with it whether it's road racing drag racing street racing whatever racing's racing whatever and once you've got that figured out personally I'd start with the transmission if you beef up the transmission and get everything right that direction then the power will just come the, any of these engines whether they're D series H series 4G63 K series whatever whatever it is they'll all make power they'll all do what you want them to but if everything else can't hold it what's the point right <laughs> Thanksgiving here on trailer park folks and today we have uh, turkey Thanksgiving potluck dinner look out this week on Trailer Park, folks, where nobody breaks the law, <laughs> and everybody walks to the shower with a towel on. Is that Here on the Trailer Park, folks, we do our dishes promptly. Here on Trailer Park, folks, we make sure that we all finish our food and completely clean our plates. Why by the laws? Don't you know? We didn't finish them. Don't you know? There's still a butt on there. 
Don't you know? So, I was winning for most race. So here in Trailer Park, folks, Bev brought the same casserole as Melinda. Oh my God! They're they're gonna throw down to a big game of Parcheesi later. And on here on the trailer park, folks, we've got ourselves a Polaris Razor 900 non carbureted. Yep, they took the carburetor off, they put the fuel injection on it. Let's zoom in. Definitions all set up? I think so. All right. Nice work. Oh, this one has got the tactic set up. He's getting all the open port stuff all set up for the 3G. This guy's gonna do a Evo head mod and some other little stuff. It's got a little Evo turbo kit on it right now. You going for the world record for 1.5? Yeah. What's the record right now? The highest horsepower one I could find was Jason Whitfield back in 2000 making 450 and after boost and nitrous. And you've made how much on a D15 already? 370. 370? And you want to try to kind of just knock it out of the park to where no one can ever touch that number again? Yeah. It's going it's, down. Yeah. Once you get the 3G tuned here. <laughs> Cute little boars, huh? <laughs> well, you watch what power my son's gonna make with this. It'll gonna be, it's gonna be no joke. Project D15, full spec. It's actually got some exhaust porting down on it. <laughs> Score. They copper sprayed that gasket. Not necessary. One day I'll get a better screen compressor. We're all, we're all poor. We are all poor, but we get the job done. And that's all that counts in the end. That's not this business to make money. No. Pieces are done, man. It's gonna work great. It's gonna need springs and retainers, probably. I've made some power on stockers, but he's probably gonna turn it 10 grand. Well, with a 72 millimeter turbo, we're gonna need 10 to 1 compression on a D15 or 11. We'll probably go 11. So? People always say things wouldn't do this and wouldn't do that, and then you do it, and then you like the new trend. That's how this thing works. 
It'll never work. It'll never work. Meanwhile, we have 500 horsepower Civics. We're going for a world record, right? We're going to put the biggest turbo we can find on it. Let's see what a 1.5 can do. All right, 3582 it is. <laughs> It'll do it. But if Speed Factory can spool an 86, tell me a D15 can't spool a 72. That's a lot. If you can hold the head down, it's going to be shoving the hole, air in the hole. As much as you can fit in there. As many pounds per minute. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's always fun. Somebody's been guilty of that. <laughs> Break the cam. No, I never ran it. Oh. But we went through it. And we caught it. So a super common problem with Honda blocks is you like to strip the threads when you're putting the head on. So we're going to make a quick video on how you install time certs and fix the threads the right way. We get so many blocks with helicoils in them, people running taps down it, and we're constantly fixing these blocks. So you can check out this kit and Todd's going to install them and let us know what you think. That's the drill bit you got to use. It's got a step here for the top of the cert and this size here. You drill off the wall. that you get this tab making new threads for the insert that will be going in go till it stops Take your insert tool back out. And I always, always double check to make that the insert always went to the very bottom. Move your plate over to your next hole. Make sure it's all square in there. And on the plate, there is certain holes, so on certain sides and certain corners, you do have to flip it over to make sure all the holes line up correctly. Job. Get that bolt tight. Get that thing tight. Good work. Getting paid by the hour, so don't be staring at me. Booster Boy needs that wing to match his hat. Alright, I was bringing it in for inspection. Try to see where to start. This thing vapes worse than Charlie. All right, everybody. So we got ourselves a donor today. Did some horse trading. Yep, that's an element. Project Insight, first step. 